in 2018. First trip to Munich was about 20 years ago and I've loved it since. My name is Rory McAllister of Great Britain and I'll be your commentator for this final. This is the 10 meter mixed air rifle standing event. This is day two of the Munich 2022 WSPS World Cup. We've had a fantastic time so far. The atmosphere here has just been wonderful. The, the people, the coaches, the families of the athletes. It's just been absolutely wonderful as big cheer for Kevin Leot. There he is, big smile. Just had a word with him before the final. Very, very nice man. He comes out to the roar of the French team that are gathered here today for this final. So on firing point G will be Shirata Devaradi Ramakashina of India. Again, a very, very sprightly chap. He's uh, got a nice little sense of humour. We were actually just having a chat about cricket, actually. Uh, England have been playing India recently, not only in a fifth test that was postponed from last year, but in some one-day internationals. Here comes the Ukrainian. This is Vitaly Blakushi. Ukraine doing ever so well in the medals table at the moment. And here's Ryan Cockbill from Great Britain. That's why it's Great Britain, not Amazing Britain or Brilliant Britain, but Great Britain. So coming out next on firing point D, representing France will be Tongi de la Forêt. Again, the French team go absolutely crazy. There's Jean-Baptiste, his assistant, looking resplendent in the French colours there. So Slovenia, I believe, are making their first final of this World Cup so far. This is Francek Gorast Tiasek on firing point C. Uh, next out representing Italy will be Andrea Liverani, who competed here yesterday. Bit of a crowd favourite. You can probably hear the crowd cheering in the background. There's a fair old few that have gathered here for this final, here in the final hall in Munich. And then on, finally on firing point A is Aisha Al-Mahiri. She's representing the United Arab Emirates. Lots of support as well for the UAE here. There's an awful lot of the team that have arrived. 33 nations have come to this World Cup. It's just wonderful to have para sport on such a platform like this. And we're certainly del delighted as a TV broadcast team to be able to bring you these pictures. There's Wolfgang Paffenberger, the jury member in charge from Germany, the home nation. So we'll settle in then to this 10 metre final. For those of you that are familiar with shooting, you probably know how it works. There's our chief range officer, that's Ralph Hornerber of again Germany. There'll be two series of five shots. And then we'll move into single shots and the elimination phases. So that's how it finished then. Here's qualifying from earlier on today. Ryan Cockbill at the top there at 637.8, representing Great Britain. Then Tiersiak of Slovenia. And then Andrea Liverani, Kevin Liot, Aisha Almaheri, and Tongi de la Forêt of France and Sriharsha Devaradi Ramakashina of India and Vitani Plakushi. So the assistant's just making sure that everything's present and correct and ready, just lining up just to make sure that all the rules are followed. Meticulous measurements in shooting. Those of you that have been involved in the sport for any length of time will know how technical and precise things have to be. And it could be that you're even a jury member listening to this at the moment. I know Paul Gum of Great Britain messaged me earlier today, so I'm pretty sure he's been following our coverage here for day two. If you are watching on YouTube, feel free to put some comments. 
Thank you very much to Sumya Deep. Come on India with a heart in the Indian flag. Rightly so as well. Lots of support for Team India today. In the last final as well. A mixed team event picking up a medal. India are second in the medal tables here at this World Cup. And let's face it, again, if you follow your shooting, that's no surprise in the world of pistol and rifle shooting with India. They're just an absolute dominant force. So that was Tiršek of Slovenia just settling in. There's Sriharsha Devaradi Ramakrishna of India. And then that's Kevin Liot of France on the end. He'll be on firing point H. So wherever you are across the world, at the local time here in Munich is just coming up to 10 past 2 or 2.10 if you prefer. 14.10 if you follow a 24-hour clock. We've got three more days of competition. We'll be back tomorrow. And then again on Monday. And our final day of competition is on Tuesday, a five-day event. It's just brilliant to see the world shooting para sport have events like this in such a place as well with so much history, so many. I mean, just think of the amount of finals that have taken place here in Munich. There must be a stat somewhere. Somebody must know. It must be thousands. It must be. OK, here we go then. Let's have a look at the finalists uh, for this final then. On firing point A, there's Aisha Al-Mahiri of the United Arab Emirates. Lots of more support coming in from the French team. If you just heard some noise in the background, so that's just uh, more of the French contingent turning up. Moving on then to firing point B. Here we have Andrea Livrani of Italy. A fine fellow and a fine shooter as well. Competed here yesterday. Very nice chap. And he's also competed with wheelchair basketball. And he's even gone on to win multiple National League titles as well. So it just shows you everyone has a story and everyone's always up to something else, aren't they? Just when you think you know enough about somebody. Moving on then to firing point C. Here's Francek Gorast Tiršek from Slovenia. I believe I think he's the eldest athlete in this final. Champions are made in coldness, moisture and darkness. <laughs> Sounds like me playing on my Xbox at home, I think. So moving on then to firing point D and representing France. This is Tunji de la Forêt. Same year of birth as me. Good year, 1978. Like a fine champagne. I don't own any champagne though that's that old. I'm not that wealthy just yet. There we go, picked up a bronze medal at the Châteauroux World Cup just fairly recently, earlier this year. Now that most of our competitions seem to be up and running again as normal, which is a, a wonderful thing to see and have because it was uh, a painful time for a lot of us and a very, very different mixed time for all of us during the pandemic. Here's Ryan Cockbill on firing point E representing Great Britain. Work hard, be dedicated and push yourself. I think Ryan sounds like just like Arnold Schwarzenegger there. I know Arnold always said if your friends are out in the pub and you're in the gym, you're in the right place. Here's firing point F. This is Vitaly Plakushi. And he's representing Ukraine. Ukraine are absolutely blitzing it on the medal table at the moment. A gold medalist at the Sydney 2019 WPS Championships. Missed out on that trip. Would have nice, not liked to have been on that one. What a lovely country Australia is. Great climate, great weather. OK, on firing point G, here he is. Here's Sriharsha Devaradi Ramakrishna. He's a lovely guy. Spoke to him just before the final.
just settling himself in. A decent family man and very, very respectful. I mean, most, most people from India are. They're, it's, just, it's just their culture. It's just their way. It's, it's wonderful. So there we go. Look, a gold medal at Chateau earlier on this year for Sri Harsha. And now we've just got one more finalist to go on firing point H. We have Kevin Liot. There he is representing France, who, if he does well in this final, is bound to cause some noise because there's an awful lot of French supporters here. Gold medalist at the Hamar European Championships earlier this year in Norway. Again, another wonderful country that I'd like to visit, mainly because they filmed the Empire Strikes Back Star Wars film there, and I'd like to go and visit some of the snow, <laughs> which, you know, is... Probably not the only reason for going to Norway. I've heard it's a fantastic place. Beautiful scenery, beautiful lakes and trees and forests. and Oh, gorgeous. So here's how they line up then. They're in front of your screen. United Arab Emirates on firing point A. Italy on B. Slovenia on C. France, two French athletes in this on D. We've got Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain on firing point E. Plakushi of Ukraine. Hopefully trying to get another medal for Ukraine. They've been doing ever so well. Devaradi. Ramakrishna of India on firing point G. And finally, Kevin Liot of France completes the lineup for this final. It's the 10 meter air rifle mixed standing. There's one of our targets, Sias, who have just been absolutely instrumental over the decades when it comes to ele electronic targeting systems. I can't imagine the world of shooting without having a company like Sias involved. They've just absolutely revolutionized the sport decades ago and have just been ever so reliable ever since. This is some of the other cameras that we've got in the range here. It's a 50 metre uh, indoor range. It'll be 50 years old when it commemorates the start of the 1972 Olympic Games. If you're old enough to even remember those games happening, they started on the 26th of August back in 1972 in Munich and went on to the September the 11th. <laughs> Thanks for your comments. If you're watching on YouTube as well, feel free to say hello. If you'd like to say hello to anybody else or just cheer on your country, you're more than welcome. If you're watching on Facebook, likewise. The Chief Range Officer then has called start. So the clock is ticking. We're underway. The final has started. So far, every score above a 10. 10.6 from Liverani. 10.6 from De La Forêt of France. 10.7 from Pakushi of Ukraine. Look at that, and a 10.8 from Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain. So each athlete has five shots in this first series. Then we go again, there's another series of five shots. And then single shots, that'll be from shot 11 right up to shot 24 which will decide the gold medal unless of course it does go to a shoot off it does and can happen we've only had one shoot off so far at this world cup another 10.8 look at that from ryan cockbill superb shooting from the britain a 10.5 from de la Forêt. plakushi again in the 10 zone with a 10.4 and another now 10.7 so far it's great britain versus ukraine Shriharsha Devaradi Ramakrishna of India. Just getting some assistance before he settles in to take his next shot. I'll score to 10.6. Let's see what he hits this time. Oh, 10.7. Good work. I mean, the grouping of some of these athletes. I mean, look at Liverani. Still in the 10 zone, 10.2. Cockbill with another 10.6. Plakushki again, Ukraine, 10.6. Look at this final. This is the definitely the closest contested final we've had so far. This is absolutely wonderful to watch. 
Tushek with a 10.8. We've had two 10.9s earlier today. That was in pistol events, though. So we're still awaiting our first 10.9 in the rifle events, but we just ever got ever so close there with Tushek. I don't think I've seen a score apart maybe from Al Mahiri under under 10. There must have been a few that I've missed maybe. Stop. Okay, Chief Range Officer's called stop. That's the end of the first series then. We've had five shots from each athlete. Let's see how it's looking then on the actual scoreboard. So Plakushi of the Ukraine leads the competition. It's an ever so slight small difference at the top though. 0 0.3 between Ryan Cockpill and Plakushi. And Tursiak of Slovenia in third behind Ryan Cockpill of Great Britain. There you go, just on your screens there. That's the scoreboard as it stands. Very early days, though, but it's nice to see the difference is still so narrow. It's hotly contested this final so far. So Plakushi of Ukraine leads. Ukraine already have five medals from this World Cup. There you go. He's, he opens the second series with a 10.1. Look at Liverani with a 10.6. De La Foray, 10.5 for France. And Ryan Cockbill for Great Britain once again in the 10 zone, 10.2. A 10.8 from Tirschek, that's his second 10.8 of this final. We await our first 10.9. It's bound to happen, isn't it, with the level of shooting we're watching here. Every single shot going a 10 or above at the moment. 10.9, there it is, it's come in. Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain, which just puts him at the top of the scoreboard as it stands. Pakushi right on his heels, 0 0.1 is the difference behind. Just looking at Tirschek there of Slovenia. This is Tungji de la Forêt, France. I'm liking the lime green earplugs there. Very bright, nice bright colours. Do you like that? Ten point eight from Tirschek on his last shot. Slovenia, so staying in the hunt. It's Ukraine, Slovenia, Great Britain at the moment as it stands. And that's De La Foy just asking for some assistance there before his next shot. You can hear bad by Michael Jackson over the speakers. I don't think it's got anything to do with Dilla Foray, to be honest. I think he's quite a nice guy, not a bad one. Here's Devarari Ramakrishna of India, not happy. Saying that, his last shot was a 10.6. But up against some of the other shooters here, Al Mahiri with a 10.8 in her last shot. And Ryan Cockbill is right there again with a 10.7. This is incredible. <laughs> so brilliant to watch. Absolutely loving this. There's a cheer from the French crowd as well. A 10.9 from De La Forêt. So we just zoomed in on him just a second ago on our cameras. And rightly so, he's 
banged in a 10.9. That is superb, brilliant. So that's the second 10.9 of this final. That's how high the standard is. Just looking at all the shots at the moment, even on the last round of shots, not one below a 10.2. So it's Plakushi of Ukraine who leads. Look at that, though, the difference. 0.2 from Tyrsiek of Slovenia. Ryan Coppola of Great Britain, 0.4 behind in third. De La Forre of France. Liverani of Italy. Then we have Ramakashina of India in sixth. Kevin Liot of France in seventh. And then Al Mahiri of the UAE in eighth place. The difference is so close. This is world, world, world class stuff. So we're now in single shots. We've finished the series of second series of five shots. So our first elimination from this final will be after shot 12. This is shot 11. There we go. De La Forre with his second 10.9 of the final. And Ryan Cockbill pretty close as well with a 10.7. Devarani Ramakrishna of India, 10.7 as well. 10.8 from Liverani of Italy and a 10.8 from Al Mahiri. I mean, just brilliant. Okay, Chief Range Officer's called stop there. Again, in the first of those single shots, there's not one below 10.4. We've got two 10.8s, sorry, three 10.8s, two 10.7s, and one 10.9 as well there from De La Forre of France. Unbelievable. But believable at the same time, it's that good. Bit of change at the bottom as well. It's now Liot of France in the danger zone of eighth position. Alma Harry jumping up into seventh. So we'll now move to our elimination stages. So the next shot is shot 12 for eighth place. Here comes shot 12. Kevin Leo of France is in eighth place at the moment. He's only 0 0.2 though behind Alma Harry of the UAE. So that's definitely start. doable in terms of a difference. Chief Range Officer's called start. There's Kevin Leot and Aisha Al Mahiri of the UAE. This 10 meter air rifle mixed final coming out with a 10.6. Alma here, he's got about 20 seconds left to make her shot. Okay, it's just gone, 10.4. There we have, we've got a shoot off then. That's, that's what I just said. There's only a difference of 0 0.2. And with a 10.4 and a 10.2, that means then that the two athletes are tied for seventh. The next command is only for Mr. In okay, so the chief range officer is just saying that the two athletes, Al Mahiri and Kevin Liot, are there for the next command. So second shoot off of the day, first shoot off of this final at the first elimination stage as well. That's that's shooting. That's exciting. This is where you want it to be. So Liot with a 10.6. Let's see what Al Mahiri can respond with. Oh, look at that, 10.6. They're still level. The shoot off goes to a second phase. What a final we've got here. This is absolutely brilliant. The next command is for the same shooters. The French team and the French supporters certainly making their presence known. They're making a the right racket. Shot, load. There we go. So the command has been given to load. Then they'll give the command to start. They've got 50 seconds to make their shots. 5-0, 50 seconds. Start. There we go. There's the start command. This is really tense here. There's Kevin Leo of France. Aisha Al-Mahiri. 
Oh, 10.1 from Leo, the Frenchman. He's just done it. So Al Mahiri of the UAE will leave the final. 9.9 .9 in the second round of the shoot-off, literally right down to the bitter end. So representing the UAE leaving this final, Aisha Al Mahiri. That was incredible to get a shoot off at the first stage of elimination and for it to go to, to two stages. There's the safety, safety flag back into the rifle. Quick shout with the assistant. So we're down to seven. Here's how it stands. Vitaly Plakushi, look at that, leading the way for Ukraine. The difference is only 0.2 from Tursiak of Slovenia. Ryan Cockbill still in there, 0.3 is the difference. He's in third, representing Great Britain. And then the Frenchman, De La Fore, with those 10.9s. That's what's launched him up the scoreboard to fourth position. Liverani in fifth. Ramakrishna of India in sixth. And then Kevin Leon of France, who's just survived that shoot-off in seventh. So we're now looking at Tirsiak. Here he is of Slovenia. Start. He's the eldest competitor in this final and therefore the most experienced. Pakushi with a 10.4, De La Fore with a 10.4, Lille with a 10.5, Liverani 10.2, Devarali Ramakrishna 10.3 and Ryan Cockbill with the highest score so far 10.5 sorry with with Liot to France Stop. so there so we go that's shot, shot 13, 13. The we've got another one to go before the next elimination that'll be shot 14 but there's a tie at the top this is getting really hotly contested this is just superb what a treat especially as it's our final final of the day, day two of this wonderful World Cup here in Munich. Ukraine already have five medals in the medal table. And at the moment, as it stands, they've bagged another gold. So tied with Plakushi and Tirshek at the top. They're both on a gold medal, although of course you can't split a gold medal, but... That's where we'd come to a shoot-off should it get to that stage. Shot 24 is when the goal's decided. So here's the elimination. Kevin Liot versus Devarali Ramakrishna of India. It's between these two as to who leaves in seventh position. Frenchman on the left, Indian athlete on the right. And a 10.6. And a 10.5. From Lyon, I think it's not going to be enough for the Frenchman. De La Forêt still to shoot. He's got 10 seconds left. There we go, there's the shot, and it's a 10.4. So it does mean that Kevin Lyon, who survived the shoot off a second ago, now leaves this final in seventh place. Much to the applause of the French crowd that have gathered here in Munich. Leaves on a total of 145.6. And look at that now at the top. Tirshek is now the clear leader. There's only a difference of 0 0.2 though from Plakushi of Ukraine and Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain in third place. Again, only a difference of 0 0.2. Such narrow margins. Look at that all the way down the scoreboard. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.4, those differences. This is anybody's final, it really is. If you've only just joined us, welcome. My name is Rory McAllister. I'm your commentator for this 10 meter air rifle mixed final standing. Slovenia lead the way at the moment. Ukraine are currently in the silver medal position with Great Britain in the bronze as it stands. De La Forêt opens with a 10.4. Plakushi with a 10.2 for Ukraine. Liverani 10.6. Devarali Ramakrishna 10.6. Cockbill of Great Britain 
Tishek with a 10.3. Just look at the standard. 0.1, now the difference at the top after 15 shots. Unbelievable. So Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain now finds himself in second position. Plakushi of Ukraine has slipped from the top down to third over the last couple of shots. The differences, though, are just, well, it literally is cat's whisker type stuff. 0 0.1 between Cockbill and Tirshek, and Plakushi a 0 0.2 difference between third and second. Start. So here's the two in danger of elimination. Devarali Ramakrishna of India against Andrea Liverani of Italy. There's a 0.4 difference between the two. So Liverani with a 10.7 and a 10.2 from the Indian shooter. That means... Yeah, it's been decided, unfortunately, India now leaving the competition. So Sriharsha, Devaradi, Ramakrishna leaves this final. Much the applause, though, of the crowd here in Munich in sixth place. That's a decent effort, and I think he's, yeah, he's clearly disappointed at the end. You could see in his face, really, just as the safety flag's put back into his rifle. I think he looks a little bit fed up, to be honest. So Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain now leads this competition, tied with Plakushi. So these two are leading. They're 0 0.3 in front of Tirshek. So the scoreboard there just adjusting. There you go. So Cockbill and Plakushi tied. 0 0.3 in front of Tirshek of Slovenia. De La Fore of France also tied with Liverani of Italy. So France and Italy neighbours in terms of the map and neighbours on the scoreboard at the moment. Oh, this could go either way. I wouldn't like to lay a bet on this final. So look at that, Pakushi with a 10.8, Cockpit with a 10.9. The Briton moved into the lead. He was tied. He's absolutely showing his intent. And do you know what? If you're going to be tied at the top, there's one way of showing the other athletes that you mean business, and that's scoring a 10.9. But look at that, though. Just the difference, 0 0.1 between Plakushi and Ryan Cockbill. 0.5 difference between Tishek of Slovenia and the Ukrainian athlete. So we move on. The next competition shot load, says the chief range officer. That's Ralph Hornberger of France. Start. He's been the chief range officer for most of this final, says start. There's another 50 seconds on the clock. De La Forêt of France and Liverani are the two battling it out for this competition to stay in it. The lowest scoring will leave in fifth position after this shot. So De La Forêt with a 10.4, Liverani with a 10.7. So he's 0.3 behind, so that means that they'll be tied. There's another shoot-off. There we go, we've got the second shoot-off of this final. I told you it would be hotly contested, we said it was close. So the Chief Range Officer just giving the commands to just De La Forêt of France and Liverani of Italy, so it's firing point D for De La Fori and firing point B for Andrea Liverani. This is the second shoot-off. If you are just joining us here at the Munich 2022 WSPS World Cup, you have joined during the best final we've had over the two days so far. This is captivating. De La Forêt with a 10.7. The French team are delighted. A 10.6 from Liverani. Those are the margins in shooting. A 0 0.1 difference separates the two, which means leaving in fifth position, representing Italy, Andrea Liverani leaves this final. So, so close. His second final appearance at this World Cup here in Munich.
forcing a shoot off there. He competed yesterday, Andrea Liverani, there he is. And to be fair, he didn't really do too much wrong, to be honest. I mean, to be in the pressure of a shoot-off and have a 10.7 and a 10.6, that's it's just sheer world-class. It's just brilliant. OK, let's have a look then. So, Ryan Cockbill and Vitaly Plakushi are first and second. We've got Tishek of Slovenia now in third. The difference now just getting slightly wider, 0 0.4 difference there between Ukraine and Great Britain. And then Slovenia 0.5 behind in third. Start. So Dilla Fore needs to make up a 0.9 difference. He's in fourth at the moment, Tirsiak in third. If Dilla Fore is going to survive in this final. He's got two shots to make that up. Plakushi with a 10.2. Dilla Fore with a 10.6. Tirsiak 10.5. And look at that, Ryan Cockbill, sheer class from Great Britain, 10.7. So there'll be an elimination after the next shot. It's Great Britain and Ryan Cockbill that lead the competition. The difference is getting just a bit wider, 0 0.9 between Plakushi of Ukraine and Great Britain. Then Tirsek of Slovenia in third position and Dela Fore has only made up just some ground. He was 0 0.9 behind. And now it's 0 0.8. The next shot will decide who takes fourth place. So here comes shot 20. This is to decide fourth place. The cruelest place sometimes to finish when you just miss a medal. Start. Chief range officer calls start. 50 seconds on the clock. It's ticking down. how still the breathing the control it's all there Dilla Fore what can he hit he needs a really decent score to even stand a chance but it's looking unlikely with the other scores that have come in it's not going to happen there's a 10.5 the others were 10. Point Four from Cockbill, 10.3 from Plakushi, and Tirsek with a 10.6. It means that Dilla Fore is out of the final, representing France, leaves in fourth place, just missing out on the medal, on a total of 210.0. Shot well, though, towards the end there, because there was two earlier 10.9s as well from Dilla Fore, and you often think with that kind of form, that you'd be up near the top. He's just had to be consistent and just wasn't enough when you look at Plakushi of Ukraine, who's 0.1 behind Tirsek of Slovenia, and it's Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain who leads. 0 0.9 is the difference. Look at that. Scoreboard just adjusting. This is now shot 21. Start. Here's Tirsek of Slovenia. It's great to be able to sort of just look over his shoulder like that. And so steady, so experienced. Pakushi with a 10.5. Tirsek 9.9. It's one of the lowest scores we've seen. So far, the pressure must be getting to him. He's slipped down to third. Well, Meanwhile, Ryan Cockbill with a 10.7, uh, sorry, 10.3. And Plakushi with a 10.5. So Tirsek currently in the bronze medal position. He's 0.5 behind the Ukrainian. He needs a really, really decent shot on this next one. Shot 22, which could decide bronze unless we go to another shoot-off. If you are just joining us, my name is Rory McAllister. I'm your commentator for this 10-metre air rifle mixed event. It's been absolutely brilliant. Definitely the best final we've had so far of the two days. Start. So 50 seconds on the clock from the chief range officer with the command start. Tishek needs a really good shot here and he needs to hope that Plakushi 
Uh, Kikuchi with a 10.5. So Tierschek can't do it. Even with a 10.9, it won't be enough. And a 10.7. I mean, he narrowed the gap to 0.3. But in that process, he has managed to back himself a bronze medal. What a performance. The eldest competitor in the final, representing Slovenia. With a bronze medal, Franček Goras Tiršek. A great performance. Ah, he seems happy enough. So then, Ukraine have got another gold or another silver. We'll find out what colour it is in just a second. They already have five medals in this competition, in this World Cup so far. They are leading the medal table. Great Britain in the hunt for their first medal of this World Cup. Ryan Cockbill leads the way. Look at that, the difference. 0 0.6 scoreboard will just adjust in just a second. The bronze medal has been awarded to Franček Goras Tiršek of Slovenia. Cockbill, Great Britain versus Plakushi of Ukraine, a 0.6 difference. We've got two shots left unless we go to another shoot-off. We've had two shoot-offs already so far. So Plakushi and Ryan Cockbill, there they are next to each other on your screens. Both on adjacent firing points as well. Oh, 10.8 from Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain. Look at that. And the applause from the crowd. A 10.3 from Kokushi. It's a 1.1 difference now. So Ryan Cockbill really does have to make a big error here to lose this gold medal. It'll be Britain's first medal of this World Cup. And therefore their first gold as well, should it stay the way it is. Here's shot 23. The Chief Range Officer... We'll call there's Jamie Stangroom with the mic headset. Jamie Stangroom, the announcer for this final. Chief Range Officer will give the load command. Oh, there's been a two point reduction. Certainly something's gone wrong here. So the members of the jury are just having a discussion. OK, there's been a green card issued to Ukraine. There we are, just on your screens now. So there's a two-point reduction for an early shot. Oh, that's such a shame for Plakushi. He was really just in the hunt for another gold medal for Ukraine. It means Ukraine will, they're likely to get a silver. I mean, it's not over yet. The difference is now 3.1. So Ryan Cockbill literally just has to hold his nerve. Either way, Ukraine have another medal. They will have their sixth medal of this World Cup. They lead the medal table at the moment. Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain just needs to steady himself, go in with a final decent shot, and the gold medal will be his. Here we go. You may hear Queen and the show must go on in the background over the speaker system here at Munich. A very apt piece of music for this point. Ryan Cockbill with a 10.7, a 10.8 from Kukushi. But with that two-point deduction, it means the difference is still 3.0. It means Great Britain have their first medal of this World Cup. It's also a gold as well. He's done so, so well, led the competition for some points, was tied for others, just stuck in there. Some amazing, amazing shooting, just world class. The gold medalist for this 10-metre air rifle mixed standing event goes to Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain. Look at that, a total of 253.9. Ukraine have backed themselves another medal. This time it's a silver. It means they now still lead the medal tables at this World Cup. And for Slovenia, for Tiršek, 
it's a bronze medal. What a final. If you are just joining us into the closing seconds, you're going to want to watch this one back on YouTube. Absolutely brilliant. If you've been joining us on Facebook as well, thank you very much uh, for joining along with that. Certainly the best final we've had of the two days so far here at the Munich 2022 WSPS World Cup. So the medalists are just lining up as we complete our coverage of this final. Ukraine have just done so well over the last two days. An absolute medal haul. They're now up to six medals and lead the table. India are second. And Great Britain, well, they're now literally on the table because they've managed to bag themselves a gold. So I'll just see how that affects uh, the British team, but I'm sure that it's going to jump them up quite a bit because the gold medals obviously are the ones that really you want to count. So Jamie Stangroom, the announcer, just doing the final announcements before we leave you. The bronze medalist representing Slovenia. Franček Gorast Tirsek gets the bronze medal in this final. And he did very, very well. Just had a green card at the end there with a two-point reduction. You can see on your face, just slightly disappointed. It's a silver medal, though, nonetheless. And that goes to Vitaly Plushki of Ukraine. And the gold medal, the first medal for Great Britain at this World Cup. And it is a gold. There he is. There's Ryan Cockbill. Big smile. He shot so, so well as the cameras flash for the gold medalist in this final. Gold to Great Britain, silver to Ukraine, and bronze to Slovenia. What a final. Watch this one back. That was a real, real classic. Two shoot-offs, one shoot-off going to a second stage. Just a real fight at the end. Point deductions. This final literally had everything. That concludes our coverage then for day two of the Munich 2020 WSPS World Cup. We're back tomorrow. You can join us on Facebook and on YouTube. Go to the WSPS website for more information and we'll see you tomorrow. So from me, Rory McAllister and our entire team here in Munich, goodbye. <laughs>